translucent red glaze just to color it. If it's not colorful enough for you, you can certainly add opaque paint. Indeed, it's likely that De La Tour added opaque paint to create that brilliant red, but I'm just going to add glazes of red for now. Notice how the translucent color transforms the color and makes it sparkle, but doesn't cover it up. Glaze layers will not cover up your underpainting. They're not designed to cover your underpainting completely, just to color them. Maybe I'll add some yellow to her bodice here, a yellow glaze. Just a little bit of yellow, a soft brush. Mostly glaze medium. I don't want to make an opaque layer, but rather a transparent layer. This is important to make sure that your glaze layers are translucent. I'm going to put a yellow glaze over her bodice and look at how you can see the underpainting still, but this yellow glaze just illuminates that bodice really beautifully. In fact, even though it's white, I'm just going to go ahead and put yellow on her sleeves to show you the effect. It's very sparkly. I'm going to do a combination of yellow and red for some of her skin tones. Lots of glaze medium, or gloss medium rather, either glaze or gloss. Sometimes it's called glazing medium, sometimes it's called gloss medium. Either one will work. It's really important that the underpainting be entirely, completely dry before I start adding glaze layers. Here's some skin tone over top the white. Some skin tone over top the white highlights on her face there. Some skin tone over top her arm here and here. And I'm using my soft sable brush. Use your softest brushes for this operation. Okay, her skin starts to sparkle. It's amazing. These transparent glaze layers are trapping the light like stained glass onto the surface of the canvas. That's how these old masters got that special glow.